Good morning. I think it's still the morning. I don't really know. But um, today, um, it's Monday. I just ended the, the last vlog. And um, I'm going to start a new one. This week, I have a lot of things to get done. Just random things. But I want to make it happen. So, today is the start, which isn't a good start because my throat is swollen and red and doesn't look good. It doesn't hurt. It was scratchy last night, but I'm just like swallowing me because so I think it's just really irritated. But I feel great so and normal. So we're just going to proceed. I just made my latte with this adorable mug. And I'm going to start with the kitchen. I want to reorganize the kitchen, the kitchen cabinets and everything like that, get rid of stuff, all that. It's pretty dark in my house. I don't like the lights on um, during the day, so ignore that. Look at this leaf. That is truly fascinating, the way that it's like coming out. It's a finger leaf plant, like, wow. That's so cool. So cool. I thought it was dying because this came off like first. Um, but I don't, I mean, it's not. So, so cute. Thompson has a little friend over. <laughs> the kitchen organization has been to a halt. Whoa! Yeah, I think my do this. Hello, it is a new day. It is Tuesday. Thompson's over there playing. Abby's on her way to come over. We haven't seen her in a while. Well, I guess we saw her at her birthday party, but we haven't hung out for a while. And, um, yeah, I don't know what she's about to do. Um, but I have like a huge master to-do list that I might try and work through today while I have her here to help me with Thompson. And, um, yeah, but I'm going to take over the dishes first because there's a ton. Daniel needs to start work. I'm going to make my little bloom drink, which I don't know if I've updated you guys, but I've used it for about a week now. And love. I can literally tell a difference when I drink it because I didn't drink it for one day this last week and I like unwillingly fell asleep during in the middle of the day so gosh I have such a bad bad skin right now oh my god all right Abby's here and Thompson's you were ready Thompson's napping I just put on some makeup to feel a little bit better about myself and um, I'm gonna start going through my to-do list and see what I can get done today and yeah her mom is gonna come by um, and she's gonna bring her dad's power drill so that <laughs> I can hang stuff up power drills and presents and um, yeah let's see long list but it's just a list for me to get done over a matter of days but I might pick and choose what I need to do and take advantage of somebody to watch Thompson uh, no, she's never oh I'm just vlogging oh, today just, no I won't she has fan base <gasps> hi Tommy Ray <laughs> Hi, Thompson. You got some bed head there. Hi, Thompson. Hi, baby. Um. <gasps> Hi. Thompson, you got a, a new toy. Hi, baby. <gasps> Tommy, girl. <laughs> it's a little lighter than your other one. Uh huh. But you know how to walk, so. Don't. Beep.
Yeah. Oh, that kind of, I don't know. Oh, it's good and bad. It's, it's a lot. Oh, nice. This is adorable. Stop it. Oh, my God. Stop. These are so cute. Looks good. They have little legs. Yeah, that one. Hello, we are back and well we've been back for a while and they're gone already, Abby and her mom. Um, we, I made them a little lunch and then I just chillaxed for a while. Honestly, Abby and I just like sat on the couch until she left. Um, but now it's like 5.30. And I was going to make dinner, but I forgot to start it earlier because I'm going to make my tortellini soup. You guys have seen it like at least once, maybe twice. Um, and it takes three hours. So, but give or take, I, I don't have to have a full three hours. So, I'm going to make that really quick. Thompson is playing. Okay, hang on. Let me grab my ingredients. Okay, so I have my crock pot and this will be on high for two hours before I add the rest of the stuff. But I'm just going to spray the inside. Honestly, this is not really necessary at all. I just do it because I'm always scared of messing it up. Um, but it's a full thing of broth. That's up to you what broth you use. I use um, vegetable broth just because, you know. This also, this recipe also calls for Italian sausage and spinach when we add the second ingredients, but um, again, I don't do that. I just do what I'll show you guys later. And then two cans of tomato soup. This is tomato basil soup. Um, it's probably a lot easier to pour out. I usually use Campbell's soup, but I've been trying to get, um, like pay more attention to my labels and get some organic stuff if I can. Um, and this was the organic tomato soup option. It's a huge can, um, but this was the option at Aldi, so that's why I have it. But yeah, two of those, probably honestly not that many because these are huge if you're using the same one, but it's not going to hurt anything. And then a thing of diced tomatoes, usually the Italian diced tomatoes, but I think I forgot to buy them this time, and that's what, um, these are just diced tomatoes, they'll be fine, but yeah, you don't drain them or anything, you just pour them in, and it goes on max or high for two hours, so I'll come back, it's 5.30 right now, I'll come back at 7.30 and add in our final ingredients that took for an hour, so I'm going to add these in. And then, the recipe doesn't really call for all this, but I add in black pepper, and of course, salt. I do some onion powder, garlic powder, and oregano. Um, and sometimes I also add in sugar or honey but i'm out of honey right now and i also want thompson to be able to eat this and she cannot cannot have honey so i'm gonna leave that out and i guess i could add sugar if i wanted to yeah put in the seasonings mix it up really good and let it cook for two hours <laughs> what are you doing get your grapes <laughs> Mm-hmm. Love that grape juice. 
it's hilarious okay i also want to show you guys what we bought today and what we installed today <laughs> not anything difficult at all but i got this mesh um retractable gate for the stairs because it's really annoying to climb over a gate it'd be nice to have this open whenever she's napping or asleep at night so we don't have to climb over it so i'm so excited about this like very it's a little bit hard to get in there one-handedly but it's much better than what we had before and then i will show you one more thing upstairs but i'm going to show you first i am putting together a little coaster basket i just ordered some sippy cups and um and a bible and devotional <laughs> for Dobson um, that I will probably add. They'll come Thursday. Um, but this basket was on sale for eight dollars. Let me see if I can put you up on something better. There we go. This was on sale for eight dollars at Target, um, and I of course got some like fun filling. Um, some of this was inspired by my friend Nicole and what she's putting in her daughter's little Easter basket this year. Um, like puffs, I don't know what puffs she's getting, but um, puffs, Thompson's never tried puffs before, so um, just got these happy baby ones just for a fun little something different. Um, and then these little bibs that also she told me about. Guys, it's great to have mom friends. You can just get ideas from one another, try things out you know it's it's fantastic so thank you nicole thompson what do you just uh, -uh. um yeah. but these are just like towel bibs that i guess people are like using them to wipe up their kid after they eat and stuff so thought i would give these a try but they're, they're just these cute like marble colors thought that was pretty and then i got her some more socks these are some fun like neutral colors I got her this little pair of biker shorts. It's getting warmer out. Thought that would be adorable. And then this little garden kit that I found in the dollar section. It comes with a shovel, a watering can, a pot, little things to label your plants, um, a rake, okay. a magnifying glass. You pulled that pair out of your shoe. <laughs> um, a lot of different things and I think this is the cutest thing in her playing with this in our backyard this summer like obviously she won't be like digging you know she doesn't know to do that but just playing with the toys in general will be so cute so yeah there is that and I'll be adding some stuff the next couple days and that'll be good to go but let me show you one more thing that we put in today okay so i had bought some acrylic shelves and i don't remember if i showed you guys our new washer and dryer we had to buy a new washer and dryer because um it went out they just went out and we've always had used stuff and we finally got brand new washers and washer and dryer um so yeah this is the washer and I got these little acrylic shelves to put in our stuff. We do have this shelf, but I store other things up there. So our detergent, her detergent, a little scooper for ours, some um, stain remover. And then the dryer is in her room, which is super strange, but just how it is. Um, and yeah, here's our dryer. We got the Maytag brand. I don't really know like what model this is or anything like that but love it but i had one extra shelf so here's our dryer balls and then the um doTERRA oils i have to put on them so and we also recently put this in which is really nice eventually for diapers and like wipes and stuff that we keep in here um yeah and that's about it so i want to show you guys that but i'm going to give her a pouch as like a little snack and hopefully get a couple things done before bedtime. Um, I need to vacuum the stairs really bad. So I'm probably gonna try and do that after I give her a little pouch.
for the rest. It's 7.30. A block of cream cheese and a thing of cheese tortellini. I guess you can do whatever tortellini that you want. Um, but this is the mixed cheese tortellini. Um, I don't know if those are like spinach, you know. Yeah, it is. Spinach ones and regular ones, but anyways. So, I'm just gonna mix up your mix up your pot and then add everything in and it's gonna look like it doesn't fit and that's okay. But yeah. Add the whole whole thing in. But yeah. Block that cream cheese. If you don't have cream cheese, you can also use sour cream because one time I forgot to put cream cheese in, like at this hour mark or whatever. And then the soup was ready, and I was like, hmm. And cream cheese takes a while to like melt and break up in something like this. And we just ended up putting like a dollop of um, sour cream in our bowls, and it was delicious. May I argue better than like this? So, you might try that too. Yeah, and then I don't really know how much of this you're supposed to add, but I always add the whole thing. This is the Butoni one, and I just get it from Carver into the pot. And like I said, it gets, it gets pretty full. Like, mine's to the rim. But also, I don't really have that big of a um, crock pot, so I'm going to show what it looks like. Okay, it's really messy all up on the sides, but yeah. So this is what it looks like. All the seasonings and tomatoes from the can. And you're just going to cover this for another hour. Then it'll be good to go. It'll look way creamier um, and delicious. Alright guys, Thompson in the town for bed. I just did a little 20 minute workout and now I'm on the couch, checked off some of my things on my to-do list and drinking body armor. My favorite one is the blue raspberry flavor. And I've tried a lot because in college they were like 10, I don't know if they still do this, like 10 for 10 at Kroger. And me and my roommate Sarah used to buy 10 each every week and but get to grab a different flavor like every time so um or like combination of flavors and stuff so i really love this one but um yeah daniel's playing a video game we have about 15 more minutes until i can check on the soup and see if it's done and then we also have like a to-go or take and bake that's what it's called um baguette baguette to put in the oven for a few minutes um and dip that in the soup so it'll be delicious oh i'm picking up the vlog at um 4 p.m today it is now wednesday and we're all on the way to north mass daniel usually climbs like monday wednesday friday um and we just wanted to join him today so that's what we're doing um and today, honestly, didn't get a whole lot done. Got some stuff done, but not as much as I would have liked. Um, Upstairs but, looks great. Yeah, I'm working on things a little at a time so I don't get like overwhelmed and stuff. But anyways, um, head to the gym. I'm so hungry. I'm very hungry. But I have a couple dinner ideas that I want to try one tonight and we'll see how that goes. Um, I think I might do the quiche. It's like a... I don't even know. Either that or... It's basically like a dinner pie or um, a like sweet potato chili cheese situation. Like sweet potatoes, but I thought I'd give it a try. So we'll see. You guys will probably see. <laughs>
Okay, and I just started on dinner. I didn't know where my camera was, so I'll just put you up to speed. But basically, I um, basically I just had to get out a pie pan, spray it, put a ready to bake like pie sheet, like dough or whatever, in there, parchment paper on top, weigh it down with rice, and put it in the oven for 20 minutes. And then I'll take it out, take away the rice and parchment, cook the crust for 10 minutes. So that's what I'm doing right now. That's all I've done so far. I'll keep showing you, but it is like a Italian sausage quiche, but I'm gonna be making it with vegetarian meat and like meat crumbles instead of Italian sausage. So I will show you, but I need to fold up and put away Thompson's clothes. So that's what I'm about to work on right now. Time to pull out the pie pan. Time to pull out the pie and and take the paper out. And then it said to bake until golden brown, which it's already golden brown. So We're gonna put it back in. Oh, I love pie crust. <laughs> it's so good. You watching? What are we doing? So we're sauteing. I heated up a tablespoon of oil, and now we're sauteing um, onion and garlic, minced garlic. You're supposed to add vegetarian or Italian sausage, but we're using beef instead. But you'll add this in, cook it through, whatever meat you're using. All right, now we're making a little egg mixture. And it is six eggs, a cup of milk, salt, black pepper, and Italian herbs. I'm gonna go ahead and crack my six eggs. Thompson, can I have the milk? Oh, there she goes. She's gone. All right, there we go. It's time to assemble. You're using a cup of cheese total, but we don't we don't worry about that here. Measurement. You're gonna. Uh oh, there goes a cup. We're gonna put some of it on the bottom. Okay, and I'm gonna put that back in the bag. And then hang out the here. Bag. And then you're gonna put on most of your mixture. meat mixture. So I'm just gonna spread that out. And then, I don't know how this is all supposed to fit. And then it says to pop or pour over the egg mixture. Keep it going. No. And then you add remaining cheese and meat. Okay. Let me add more. Huh? I 
with it and then we add more? Oh yeah, I thought you were asking. Egg sandwich. Okay, and then then you place your tomatoes. Make a smiley face. Down like this. Um, I think I did not process that quick enough to do. Okay, it's time to take it out of the oven. Yum, I could smell it upstairs. It looks delicious. I'm gonna let it sit for 10 minutes. Yum. Taste test. It's dark right now, but I mean, it tastes good. It's very moist. Comforting, huh? Mm hmm. It is nice and moist and eggy and <laughs> like the meat in there. I'm sure if you use actual Italian sausage, it would add a nice spice to it as well. Mmm. You know what I'm saying? That's what we go with hot sauce on it. That's what we gotta do. breakfast, make my coffee, um, I 
also before she took a nap got some things done and then I just filled out her promptly journal for a year old um, and now I'm about to order my pictures I have like a monthly subscription to get photos printed and I haven't filled it out yet um, so I have to add some into there um, and yeah so I'm gonna do that and then um, I'm going to create some doggy mini sessions because I did that a couple years ago and people ate it up I don't know if they will but I just thought I would give it a shot and do that again I kind of have some ideas for it so um, I'm gonna make stuff for that and try and do that before she wakes up and then after that it's just gonna be a day of organizing things so um, yeah like shelves and cabinets and the kitchen and just a bunch of stuff so that's what we have ahead Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Hey guys, Thompson is down again and I'm about to go through that shelf. But I forgot to mention that I'm doing a little whiten treatment right now. Um, I've used this, this might be my fourth or fifth time um, using this before. This is the Kroger brand of whitening strips it's like their brand of the crest whitening strips and I specifically used these the very first time because I heard that they were better than the actual crest ones and I don't know if I can confirm that because um I've never used the crest ones before I've only used these but they work really well you just do it for 10 days it's a 10 day treatment 30 minutes a day this is already my fifth day um, so I'm like halfway through it, um, but every time I've used it, it's really effective and it lasts for like months after I feel like So you don't have to do the 10 day treatment You can do it just like here and there if you want, but it's more effective and it even says on the box for optimal results Used for 10 consecutive days. So that's just what I've always done But it just comes with um of these and you don't want to brush your teeth before or after you just put them on at a time that you're not going to be messing with your teeth um, so I'm about to go do that shelf so I'm gonna put them on um, but then it just looks like this this one on the bottom I know it's hard to see it's trying to focus on me this one on the bottom is for your bottom row and then the top row of your mouth so, um, I'm going to go ahead and get a timer ready to go for 30 minutes. And then, yeah, you don't have to make sure your teeth are dry or anything like that. I've never had an issue, so. And then I fold it, I fold it over the back of my teeth, there it is, and then you chop, that's my wood wick by the way if you hear that sound, and I have big teeth, guys, look how good they look already, like great, um, like already such an improvement, but Anyways, top and and like I said, I have big teeth and they fit my teeth so don't be afraid, my horse friends. There they are. And I sound kind of weird talking with them, but that's fine. It's worth it. I'm gonna go start to work on that shelf and probably record a bit of it for you cleaning freaks. Hi everyone, we are currently um, on our way to the park um, and we're going on a walk with Tommy. And then we're going to get some ice cream. Let's get a word from Thompson. 
our sponsor of today's video, Thompson. Um, what do you have to say about this park? Dang, oh, it's so shaky. Are you ready to go to the park? Do you need some ice cream? Uh, looks like the answer is possibly no. Ready to go, girl? And then we'll get some dairy queen. Thompson, what are those? <gasps> what are those? We got a medium on purpose. Hello, guys. It is Friday now, and Thompson's not napping, so <clears throat> I'm trying to be quiet. But I just laid her down for a nap, so I'm about to go out and drop off some wipes to Nicole. Sick right now. I no longer use Million Moon wipes. I use the Honest one. It's just a preference. They're both great and clean. But um, I have like literally six of those, so I'm just gonna give her those because those are the ones that she likes to use. So um, do that, and then run by Goodwill. I just want to peek at um, their chairs and picture frames because I want different chairs for the dining room area. The dining area, it's not a room. And um, just been on the lookout, so I'm just gonna pop in there, but it's a rainy, nasty day. So, um, yeah. But I'll update you on what I find, <laughs> if I find anything. Hello guys, it is a few hours later. I basically just got home and took care of Tommy. She woke up, um, needed lunch, nursed and changed and you know, all the things. Um, and I'm already washing the stuff that I got. I got two dresses, sweatpants and three picture frames. So I can show you the picture frames, taking back one of the dresses and the other things are drying right now. So I'll show you those eventually, but these are two of the frames that I got and I just hung them on existing nails in the wall so they're not perfect right now but um yeah just these cutie little photos right here at our entryway and then there's one more upstairs but I'll try and show you that later when I remember um right now I'm gonna start going through the kitchen cabinets so there's mugs that I could get rid of. This is my mug cabinet. 
I'm definitely get rid of some of those. I have to find a place for all this stuff from the party that I want to keep. Um, I know that we probably have a couple like appliance kind of things that I could get rid of. Um, water bottles that I could get rid of. So I just need to go through all the cabinets, redo them. And yeah, so that's going to be my little organization thing for the day. Thompson is enjoying her little, she loves standing there at the door and I can like loft that one. So it's locked right now. Um, yeah, but I'm gonna get started. Once I start, I will not be able to stop. so far this is stuff that we're getting rid of and I'll show you what I've done so far so this cabinet I'm not touching I've recently done it's like Thompson's feeding stuff and my pumping stuff and then that's like coffee and tea and then this one um, plates bowls those are plastic plates but the rest of the bowls will go over there these are just like little china plates from her birthday party but also ones that I just want to keep someday when I have a big pretty china cabinet <laughs> um and then i went through here up there are our hot cups um and then this one is my starbucks tumblers and then this one has our hydro flasks back there and then my other stanley and then here i got rid of some mugs those ones are like seasonal ones that i switch out right here um these ones are like ones I've collected, like my Starbucks where you've been or whatever it's called, mugs, um, ones that people have given to me, and then these ones are just like my cute every day mugs that I love. So, got that. And then the last cabinet I've done so far is this one, and this is our Tupperware. We've got glass ones, plastic ones, and then all the lids. This is our blender cup. Um, set and in the back are like the lids to the cups and lids to glass jars and then we have straws here that's the cup I use when I paint plastic cups glass cups and then like those kind of glasses so that's what I've done so far and we're pretty much done with top stuff because this is our medicine cabinet this is one of our pantry cabinets. All right, so it's dinner time. Their dinners are already gone, but I made a sweet potato, wait, chili cheese sweet potato casserole. Thompson smashed. Daniel also smashed. Did you hear that? Mm. Did you? Hang on. Um, but I finished the kitchen. The cabinets are great. Literally went through all of them and got rid of like a laundry basket full of things and I took it to Goodwill and then I went to Target. And I got some treats for Daniel and I tonight. I got the Easter, um, I already mixed it all together, the Easter peanut M&Ms and then some Chex Mix. Mixed that up. And then I got a new, I needed a hamper for Thompson's room. So what used to hold our blankets is going to be that and then I got this new one to hold our blankets super cute um, and the old one I'll go ahead and take it upstairs so I can show you the painting that I didn't show yet um, I'm gonna leave this open this is what the old one looks like um, but I'm gonna start keeping her dirty clothes in her room because usually we did it outside her room. But I think it'll go perfect by the trash. This is just a laundry basket that we already have. But I like using this one to um, switch the laundry back and forth. This is just, I don't know, it's my favorite basket. <laughs> but yeah, she needs some laundry. I just thought that would be good. Right there, trash, changing table, all 
all that and then um the painting i got is right here i think it's actually so pretty and i want to put it in a room i just don't really know what's up <laughs> i just don't really know where yet so yeah but also our little dinner got canceled with our bible study group because it's supposed to be like severe weather tonight so that's sad but is what it is no well, we're downstairs for tornado so if you're in lebanon if you're in danville we're watching the news we're in the kitchen on the floor <laughs> dad keep us safe but once we the closer we get to one a.m. Exactly. This is on the northern edge of the of the squall. Uh, environment probably a little more favorable south. Um, and then you can see it's not as strong, but still noticeable there. Once you get behind this line that you're seeing, this your, the threat of severe weather is over. Enough. Hi guys, I don't have my camera with me. Um, when I edited the video last night and stuff and the tornado stuff happened. I don't know where my memory card is right now, so I'm on my phone, but I'm at Fresh Market right now um, to try and find some new oat milk and then also get some snacks for um, Sarah and I. This afternoon we have a busy fun day that I'm gonna take you guys along, but we're in Broad Ripple Butler area, so that's fun. Um, but yeah, just know what to do. these berry drizzled cocoa pretzels. I have pepper jack cheese, Havarti cheese, raspberries, blueberries, strawberries. So I don't really know how this is all going to fit. I don't have an official board. This is a cutting board that I turned upside down. So we'll see how it goes. But I think I'll start with the cheeses and see where that gets me. meant to be a smooth transition and it wasn't. Focus. Hi guys. I have not vlogged at all today. It's Sunday. It's been busy. We um, had church and we took Thompson to the nursery 
for the first time. Um, and then we went um, to lunch for his grandma's birth Daniel's grandma's birthday and then we just went grocery shopping and we just got back. So um yeah we've been we've been busy. Hang on. Oh I got you. <laughs> Aww. All right, but I wanted to talk about I was trying to find some snacks for Thompson instead of like the baby food snacks at the store just because a lot of them just aren't great. Honestly, it has a lot of like the arsenic cases because they're rice based and everything like that. So I was trying to find some things. Um, so I'm gonna eat them and see if I think that she can break it up. <laughs> but these are cheddar almond flour crackers. They're grain free, gluten free. They don't really need to be gluten free, but I mean, they just are. Um, they have some dietary fiber, they have some potassium, vitamin D, calcium, a little iron. So, um, I'm just gonna try it because I'm trying to find like Thompson some like crackers and um, like snacks besides her like meals and stuff um, throughout the day. So, shoot. I always mess up. Yeah. Thompson, you want to try one? Yeah. <laughs> and then I got her these freeze dried. Fuji apples, they have no GMO, good source of fiber. These I'm not sure about. I don't remember how well these like break up. Um, yeah, those dissolve. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Back to the tummy. She just put the whole cracker in her mouth. So. Then I got her these bars. Um, these are just some organic ones. Um, these probably aren't fantastic, but they've got organic strawberry filling, and it shows here what's in that. Um, organic glucose syrup, organic king sugar. I didn't know they can slap organic in front of anything. Strawberry puree, apple puree. Um, the color is elderberry juice, um, potassium, carbonate, organic whole oat flour, organic enriched flour, um, rolled oats, molasses, blah, blah, blah. It's not, it's not too bad. So, just trying to find some snacks for her. So, we'll see how those go. Um, but I just wanted to share those. Got this from Kroger and then these ones from Aldi. Um, yeah, I'll grab her some socks. Good morning, guys. It's Monday, probably the last day of this vlog. Thompson and I have her one year appointment. Um, and I'm gonna try and um, take her to go to Target with Myra and Nicole this morning. Just a little fun outing before to keep her awake and you know how it goes she just like has to be distracted or else she's like just so tired in the morning so um yeah we're gonna go do that um just need some socks got it I made my little green drink. Oh, here she comes. Bye, Stinky. But I mixed up my greens and my 
grab my water bottle. We'll be good to go. Um, last night, Daniel just made us dinner and we watched The Walking Dead. Her usual, we're almost done with it. Um, we're like halfway through season 11. Yeah, we have four episodes. We have four episodes left. Yeah, well, four and a half. I fell asleep. Yeah, so that's crazy. I made it to Target. Ew. I'm just gonna take my hair down. Cute. These socks are crap. <laughs> Saying hi. I just got some wooden kitchen utensils from Target and some puffs to put in her Easter basket. Some cleaner ones that are the best option. I just wanted like a fun little tree, like not something she's gonna have all the time. I just wanted like literally a fun little, uh, a fun little treat to put in that bag, you know? So, that's what we got at Target, and she is not happy. She is ready to fight me for some milk, so, um, you hungry? Come here. In we go. Say, I'm 20 pounds. And like 28 inches. Mm -hmm. A little shorty, I think. Just playing with my buttons. She stood on the scale, like that I would stand on, like a big, like adult scale. She just stood on it. <laughs> it was so funny and cute. back from the appointment she took a nap and now she's eating oh this is really cute anyways i'm gonna end the vlog here now hope it was a great one for you to watch and enjoy um we're just gonna enjoy the weather today and we're gonna go on a walk with a friend um i just got these glass straws from amazon i'm about to rip open um but yeah, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one. Please subscribe, follow me on Instagram, whatever. Um, yeah, love y'all. <laughs>